we're conditioned into believing we need a reason for gratitude or joy and consumerism makes it really clear, right? Until I get that, I'm this. But what if you've been creating and every time you have the thought of your future, you've done it so many times it makes you feel like you're connected to your future. Well, that's a conditioning as well. If you have the thought of your future and you feel the lack that it's not there, then you're back to the victim, right? But if you can have the thought and the thought actually produces, just like fear, the thought of something terrible happening in your life creates the feeling of fear, the thought of something wonderful in your life creating the feeling of gratitude. Then when you think about your future, you begin to emotionally condition your body into that future. Now here's the payoff. Thoughts are the electrical charge in the quantum field and feelings are the magnetic charge in the quantum field. And how you think and how you feel broadcasts information and energy into the field. So, Into the collective field. In the, into the unified field. So the yeah. question is, what are you broadcasting every single day? So then, if then, we know that once you begin to self-regulate, and you begin to open your heart, just in that small exercise that we did, the act of creating that kind of coherence in your heart begins to produce a measurable magnetic field up to three meters wide. That heart is actually producing a resonance. That energy, that, that frequency carries information. And when your heart is open, this is our center of oneness. This is our center of wholeness. This is the union of polarity and duality. This is the, the connection of opposites. So when the heart starts to become activated and we start to feel whole, and it begins to put that energetic pattern into the field, that frequency can carry the thought of your health. It can carry the thought of your wealth. And the is frequency that, that, of suffering can't ca ca carry, carries different thoughts. It yeah. can't carry the thought of health. Is that so projecting that electromagnetic frequency into the field, into the collective unified field, is that the fundamental causal response of that thing attracting back towards you? So let's say you project that thing. Let's say it's outside of your body. Like I think understanding how the gene expression works and understanding mm -hmm. how you can heal your body is one thing, but how do you manifest that external thing from happening, that job sure. offer from sure. happening, that thing? You're projecting that out in the field, but what is the response mechanism that actually calls that back uh, to you? Uh, uh, well, we need three bottles of wine, three <laughs> hours for that. Uh, but let's make it really simple. 70% of the time, people live in survival, live in stress. And there, that invisible field of electromagnetism that's surrounding the body, that resource of energy is going to be squandered into chemistry. And every time you react, the field around your body shrinks a little bit more and you become more matter, less energy, more particle, less wave. And then the hormones of stress cause you to narrow your focus on the cause. So when you narrow your focus on the cause, you're focusing on the particle in quantum physics, matter, and your senses are take so conditioned into focusing on matter that you're beginning to experience separation. So the more I live by the hormones of stress, the more I have separation. There's separation between me and you, and my senses are fooling me into it. But the unified field says there is no separation. So then, if you're addicted to those emotions and you're, you're, they're heightening your senses, that's what they do in survival, and you become a materialist, and your field around your body is shrinking, then you're going to feel separate from the quantum field. And it's going to take a long time for you to create what you want, because you're separate from the field, and you will be matter trying to change matter. So the moment you begin to activate the center, this is our connection. This is our first connection to the unified field. The moment energy moves into this center, and we've measured this, the field around the body expands, and once there's energy in the heart, guess where it goes? straight up to the brain. The heart acts as an amplifier and literally begins to increase energy in the brain. So now, once that field begins to expand and you get beyond, you take all of your attention off your body, off people in your life, the things you own, the place you need to be in time itself, and you become pure consciousness, and you take all of your attention out of this three-dimensional reality, out of the known, and you start putting your attention on that field, and you begin to feel connected from that field, the faster the frequency, the higher the emotion you feel, the shorter amount of time it's going to take for it to appear in your life, because the faster the frequency, the closer you're getting to oneness and wholeness. So then when you teach people how to get beyond all of the elements in this three-dimensional reality and begin to open their heart, 
Their heart, in that frequency, is their connection to the field. The moment they open their heart, they become more energy than matter, more wave than particle. And now, that becomes the amplifier that begins to generate a whole new set of thoughts. Now you're creating from the field. So imagine then, if you're, connect, if you're feeling connected to all possibilities, then it makes sense then that once you're connected, you don't have to worry about how it's going to happen or when it's going to happen. It's the more you can surrender and go deeper, the more connected you are, then how it plays out in three-dimensional reality, leave it up to the greater mind. Mm -hmm. and just